I don't know if mine's on. I don't think so. Angela made a long business manager, Daniel Boone Area School District. Sally Rhodes, New Roads Transportation. Steve Rhodes, New Roads Transportation. Wayne Klein, Klein Transportation. Rob Hurley, Superintendent. And I'm Beverly Albright, uh, board member. Um, I just have a really short um, agenda. We're going to recap the meeting I had um, a month ago on September 17th. Um, we had discussed um, the leaving times um, at AEC or at um, Dave Boone, what is it, Intermediate, Intermediate Center. Intermediate Center. Um, we're not being um, accurately um, recorded as they were based on when school dismissal was rather than when the buses were actually leaving. So the rides were shorter than were actually being reported. Um, Mrs. Weber had said that uh, the Amity bus loading had improved and um, it was just the function of the school, the buses needed to go to two schools. Um, that she said it was getting better and they had it under control, so there was no need to change anything. Um, second, that's as far as the first um, item on the agenda. The second item on the general agenda is bus referrals. Um, and I just added this because I was interested to see if we could get um, like a number every, every mm -hmm. month for the meeting of how many referrals um, are being placed so that we can see if the behavior is getting better or worse and kind of start tracking that a little bit. Is that a possibility? Yeah, we can do that. try that. Okay. It seems like we get the most response when we send the video over. Yeah, that helps. That, that helps a lot. Okay. So have you met? Has it seemed like there's been more referrals this year than in the past, or is it about equal that? I don't know if the number has changed much, but I think the drivers feel as though they're getting more of a response okay. than they had in the past. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Simply due to the video being sent to the school, or just the, are the administrators backing us more? I think the administrators are backing us more. Okay. You know, change in personnel. Okay. Great. Um, <clears throat> the next item I have is new business. Does anybody have anything to discuss? You had a couple things there. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, we wanted to talk a little bit about at the um, Monocacy Center, um, several times uh, bus drivers needed um, a principal to come out or someone to come out to the bus and uh, it's they're never available. Um, that seems to be somewhat of a concern because usually the drivers don't call for help like that unless they need something. Okay. And I know I've heard it several times. Okay. So, so we need someone to come out. If Melanie is not available, then someone. have to come out. And so if, if Melanie is not available, then one of the guidance counselors should come out. Or another. So we have two guidance counselors there. So there should be a, a professional staff that's able to come out to address the issue there. We'll follow up on that. Okay. Obviously, that was a, a little bit of something there. Okay. That'd be great. And is that before before the bus actually leaves for the day, or is it after some things occurred and they've come back to the school? It's both. Uh, well, it's either in the morning that they want them to meet the bus and they'll okay. tell them when they're arriving. Okay. And then they, for someone to speak with the children, or it's in the afternoon. And I, I'm just speculating, but just based on experience, probably what happened is the um, they at the start of the year they began. It was Melanie. They had one guy's counselor. The other guy's counselor wasn't released from a prior position, so they they only had one guy's counselor. Both Melanie and probably the guy's counselor were in an IEP meeting, most likely. I've been speculating on that type of stuff. When the, now that we have a second guy's counselor, they're, they're going to have someone that's free and available. They should okay. Be under this. We should be issues there. I'm speculating, but that typically in yeah. the morning, that's what would tie up a principal in that type of situation. So, okay. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll look into that. Okay. Thanks. Um, 
returning to stops, <clears throat> I thought we, we discussed that mm -hmm. several times and we go around and around and around about it, but we're still returning to stops when requested. How, what, is, what, is, what are we supposed to do with that? I mean, we follow it, what we're told, so right. we'll do that. But Who's requesting your return to stops parents? I think the parents put the, I think the parents put Angela and, yeah. and uh, Joelle on the spot a lot, and uh, I don't know. Do we need to? I'm not because I'm not blaming you, but I know I've, we've been in your position, and they really do hammer you and put you in this on the spot. Do we absolutely say no? We're not going back. Is if the bus if was on time. Bus? Yeah. Bus was on time. I thought we had said at the last meeting that they just—it was not going back. And he said you're infecting the other, however many kids after that. You're going to have their parents saying you were late or not on time or didn't get there. Yeah. Well, it's that, yeah. and it's in the afternoon if the parent isn't there to pick them up. And but yet, then they. Is that still third grade and up? They're allowed to get off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because my son's in third grade and they didn't let him off. I'm uh, <laughs> just saying. So because I was like, maybe because he looks younger. I don't know. Well. Um, so it is well, definitely third. I mean, is that going to make a lot of waves if they actually, you know, say no, we're not going back to pick them up? How much? You know, how far do we <laughs> want to go with it? Wow. You know, I I think you need to give uh, Angela and Joel the yeah, direction the, on what to do there. Yeah, and if you don't mind, I, I'd like to take a little more time than three seconds getting ahead with this. I understand. Because uh, yeah. mm -hmm. it's a balancing act, I and mean, I think there's a common sense piece on both sides of making that. Uh, the, the point that we have, um, we don't want to delay the other runs and inconvenience all the other parents as a result of one parent, you know, not being able to get out to the bus stop one time. Right. So that, that's very much a significant issue. And we have to balance that against you know being ten feet down the road, you know, and, and, and making right. that common sense for the world too. So, and, and, right. but it really is a parent's responsibility to get their child out of the bus, you know, out. I mean, that's there is a problem ahead of time. Yeah, and uh, I can see how it can put people in. in they do. The they on they and, get yeah. pretty. If you don't kind of mind, give me a little bit of time, a couple yeah, minutes, sure. and, and um, we'll get back to you tomorrow. On that. I know. I know. I've jumped on the radio in the morning and said. Uh, you're there on time, keep going. And maybe I shouldn't do that, but I've already done that so myself. Sometimes it's very simple to just go around the block, and yeah. other times it's going to add five, ten minutes. Yeah, and minimum. that's where it's tricky. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like the common sense. So to come up with a, a, a concrete answer yeah. Yeah. Is, is a challenge. You think what I understand. Yeah, it's hard to make that black and white. I mean, to some extent, there is some judgment involved in it. Is it 30 seconds or is it five minutes? And I, I think that, but that's why I want a little bit of time to sure. pontificate that sure. if you don't mind us. And when this was discussed before, it was the idea that the driver's on an assigned route, and when you force the driver to find an alternate route to turn around to go back and pick up a child to be putting safety out there, yeah. you know, where, where's he, the driver going to find a turn around? Mm -hmm. so there's all kinds of issues because the road <coughs> For a specific route, and like you just said, if you're on time, on schedule, find a way to get your child picked up or to school. Sometimes they get ugly, but more of it. I don't know if you want that. But a lot of food and there's still food and water on the bus and it becomes distracting. I mean, I, I was on a bus the other day and I would have thought that somebody put their foot in ice acid or something and I stopped the bus quickly. And, What's going on? Well, there's water spilled on the floor. Well, why is there water on the bus in the first place? You know, they, they shouldn't even have it out. I know there's really no food and water supposed to be out in the bus. But we can't, it's so hard to enforce, uh, especially if they're allowed to bring it onto the bus in the first place. And the food and, issue, you know, that gets a little, 
scary with like the allergies. Yeah, the allergies. yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean the water is going to be a lot more difficult to control because they're all allowed to have them at school, so they have to get them to the school. And should they be opening them on the bus? Absolutely not. But like you said, if you're driving a bus, you can't monitor what they're doing. But food is an absolute. I not sort of idea. think that they're um, talking to the little ones more about it because a couple days last week I heard the little ones that came out of monocacy telling the ones out of Amity, put that away, you can't have food on the bus. Mm -hmm. So they might be talking to them a little bit about it over there, yeah. but... Yeah, that's probably about it. I want to talk to you about it. It's 92 tomorrow morning being okay. a mom that's getting knee surgery. Oh, okay. No, I don't have anything. I'm anxiously waiting for some bridges to open. Yeah, <laughs> aren't we all? <laughs> Make life a lot easier. It sure would. Do we have any idea? Is there any What is a monocacy bridge in particular? I haven't heard a, a date on that. I know the one on 562 has been pushed back to spring now. That was in the Eagle uh, maybe a yeah. month ago. Uh, so that'll Not be the whole that. school year. What's that? That'll be the whole school oh, year because yeah. they're saying May. So. Yeah. yeah. That really creates a big problem over there. Yeah. So that's, that's all I All right. Um, at this time, if you have public comment,
that has very high potential for harmful situations for our children. Even if I didn't know about available grant money, I would still be standing here to advocate for change. My children's bus has been 10 to 15 minutes late multiple times in the past few weeks. Only two days ago did my daughter in fifth grade explain that their driver has had to go back to the school in order to deal with problems on the bus. If there was just one adult on the bus in addition to the driver, the bus would likely be on time. Um, I didn't have this written down, but as I am also listening to some of what you're saying, I'm recognizing that um, these other situations with food and drink and allergies being safe, or problems with the children on the bus and having to pull off, or like you mentioned, turn around, can be safety issues, that was the word used. Um, if there was an adult on the bus, they could deal with those things. A bus driver would never have to pull over or deal with the multitasking stress. Um, if you're a parent, you understand that with just a few children, but if you can imagine having that many children on a bus, it can be very difficult. And I feel like it's, it, it is, when I said it's the most vulnerable, vulnerable time in the day for a child to get picked on or anything, whether they be taking their things, that is the longest span of time probably for any of those students while they're sitting on that bus with one adult who has their face forward. And they have a mirror, but they really can't see what's going on below head level, I don't think, on any of the seats. Um, and so I guess I would like to hear some dialogue start as to whether this has been mentioned before, um, what the ideas were, and if it wasn't, what could we do? Is anyone open to doing something about putting an aid on buses? Maybe what they think about available grant money. That's all. First, um, if there are specific incidents, um, they should be reported to the building principal. Um, I they, I know, and they need to be immediately, if they are followed up on their investigation, each one of those situations are investigated. Um, from there, there are appropriate consequences that are handed out by the building principals. Um, from that point in time, it is really important when you deal with student discipline, it, it has to be a combination of parents and students and the bus drivers cooperating together. That's where the most effective results happen. Um, other things uh, that you may or may not be aware of, um, the Monocacy Elementary Center is implementing the LVA's anti-bullying program. Uh, which is a research-based um, program, it's nationally known. Um, some other things the, uh, that you should be aware of is, you know, despite sometimes our, the best efforts of the bus drivers, the bus company, and teachers, um, kids do misbehave, and um, we do need to address those, um, and parents need to address those, and we need to work together to teach the kids the proper skills um, for that. Uh, so um, we, we do follow up on these things. Um, it does. Principals do spend a substantial amount of time um, dealing with all kinds of students' behavior in school and out of school on the buses during the school day. Um, like I said, sometimes kids do, despite our best efforts, do misbehave. Um, you know, in, in terms of, of grant money that's out there, the grant deadline, and he's correct, there is grants, and which you, they, you have the right for the grants, and um, the grant deadline for that was October 12th, so it's already passed. The, the school district has applied for the grant money, okay, um, for various things. We uh, did some safety studies in regards to them, and also administrative collaboration in terms of what that was. Um, we haven't been awarded that money yet. Um, we will find out shortly, yeah, well, not, not shortly, find out probably sometime in November or December whether we indeed and what amount we got from the state. Uh, we do anticipate getting some money. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, has it ever been brought up in the past to have a bus monitor? No, it has not been brought up in the past. There are, um, it, it's to my knowledge, and I'll certainly let it defer to some of the expertise over here, it, in surrounding school districts, I'm not familiar of anyone that has a aid on every bus. Um, there are individual instances um, related to IEPs where there is an aid in a bus driver, but it's not, it's not pervasive in school, in school districts around this particular area that I'm aware of uh, myself. So. Um, is this the appropriate place to take this? Um, should I be discussing this elsewhere? Maybe at a, I 
like it's a regular school board meeting? This is the appropriate place the transportation committee is, is where to discuss this type of item. Okay. Is, is there interest in that, do you think, in the district? This is the first time anyone's ever brought up something like this. Again, this is not common practice. Our goal is always to improve student safety. Um, we, we constantly are looking at better ways and better methods of improving student behavior. What do you think about it, everyone who's here? I'm just wondering what, how you feel about that idea. It's, well, it, it's, it's nice. It would uh, certainly benefit us. Um, it does come at a cost. So I'd say that would be a, a board decision if they felt as though that was something that was uh, cost versus benefit would justify that. I think yeah, maybe, um, I mean, I'm going to go back to the other members, the other two board members that are on this committee that it come tonight. Um, so if you were possibly available on the 22nd at the voting meeting, that can that be brought up on the voting meeting? I think you want to discuss this in transportation first because the, we don't have a quorum here. Tonight, right, so. I know, but I mean, if she wanted to talk to the other board members or no? I think you first want to pay and then transportation can be before you do it. Okay. Have a okay. All right. So um, I can take that back to the other two board members um, that are on this committee and see what their interest level is. Um, I mean, yeah, ideally, it sounds fabulous. There's a lot of things that sound fabulous, though. Um, and we have a very limited budget in this district. Um, not saying that it can't happen, not saying that it shouldn't happen, um, but there's a lot of cuts that we've made over the last many years and a lot of things that we've really kept tied down. And I think it would, it's going to be a hard sell. Um, it's, it's an absolute legitimate concern. I totally get it, I'm a mom of four. My kids are all in the district. Um, it's just one of those things, it would be nice. Um, I think if we had an even earmarked whatever money we may get for towards the doors in the security in one of the other. So I don't even know if that the, the grants were very specific. Yeah, um, they were written that, towards. That, they were, there was um, they, based upon the study that was done, the safety study that was done um, by an outside group, and so they were very specific towards that um, right. those particular items. So um, I can take this back to the other two board members and get their feeling on it, and then if there if we have three of us, then we could bring it to the regular board meeting um, okay. and see, and then bring it to everybody. And you're saying that's on the twenty second. That's a voting meeting, so it would, be, it would have to be at the town meeting, right? Yeah, I mean, usually you want to discuss this in transportation and make a decision whether you want to go forward. Right, but because they're not here. I'm yeah, usually there's a quorum. I, I know. <laughs> I'm kind of like, yeah, yeah huh? I can talk to them outside of here, but then, um, yeah, I have I mean, if you want to put it on the couch, we can put it on the couch, so we certainly can. I mean, we can do that here if the other board members are. If they're in agreement, then we can just list it on the next town meeting. Sure. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just interested in, in participating in that dialogue. Um, if it hasn't been brought up before, um, I'm sure there are different ways other than grant money to look at how that could be made possible. Um, but I'm not familiar with these processes. I've never gone to a school board meeting. I've been to one in another state for a very small school, and parents didn't come to that meeting. It was just like an award ceremony. I don't know the processes for these things. If a parent has feedback on something in the district that could improve, um, I'm sure a lot of parents would be behind that. Um, I, I did email the Monocacy Elementary principal on this topic, but she is not communicating with me about what she thinks about it at all. She only wants to talk to me over the phone, which is strange to me, and I don't understand why. And it actually feels very much like what just happened just now, initially. Um, I don't know why it's hard to talk about um, or hard to get clear answers. Um, so what I need to do is I need to attend the next school board meeting, basically, to come advocate for that. That would be somewhere that you could, you could speak about it and advocate for it. 
And if there are things like this that have been brought up in the past, is it something that I should, do I need to obtain a petition? Is parent signatures, is that a suggested thing to do or? Just looking for direction because I don't know how these things work. I'm a parent that doesn't ever attend meetings. You, you brought it up to the uh, committee's attention, um, the, the way this and, and then make the decision whether or not to bring it to the count. Okay, so if, if I bring it up to the, so here's your answer. If um, I'm new at this position, so that's why I'm kind of like looking to. So if I bring it to the other two board members and they're, they don't feel that they're interested in supporting it and putting it on the cow for that meeting, then you are, and it's not on when you arrive, you have, will have a moment, you have three minutes to speak at that meeting. Okay. So you can bring it up even if we don't have it on the agenda. Okay. Okay. Um, so if there are board members that are not in support of it, but I know that there are lots of parents that are in support of it, it would be helpful to get parents to come out for that? It's always helpful to have parents at board meetings. Yeah. They, they aren't well attended here either, so it's not. Okay. When is the next cow? The 22nd of the Is it the 29th? Second, second Monday of November is the cow. That would be the 12th. That's the 12th. It's November 12th. That's when it is? That's the cow meeting at 7.30. Yeah. How would I, who, who would I contact to find out if it is being called? Probably me. Okay. Can I just exchange um, contact info with you then before I'm, I I'm on the website. So if you click on my... Um, Beverly Albright. I'm having a hard time hearing you. That's Beverly Albright. Albright, yes. Okay. 